Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Euro USD setups for today. So, um, yeah, a pretty a strong set of data that came out which impacted the, the dollar. I just strengthened the dollar, but uh, I think it's going to be short lived because uh, if you look at what the impact's going to be, it's really the impact is for the indexes and um, interest rate cuts, basically. So, this to me, um, if you look at it from the eight hour perspective, granted we have a crossover of the oscillators pointing down. Uh, so, see, there are going to be some people that are bearish, but we're above the moving averages here. I'm not bearish at all. So, I'm looking for opportunity to buy. Until we break below the 150, we are not bearish. And remember, I've been saying it's for pretty much all year. We're in a very strong weekly zone of resistance. So the bulls are going to try and drive this up. And you can see we're at the weekly 150 EMA here. And the key is a close above the 150 EMA on the weekly right now. So for me, this is neither bearish or bullish at the moment. Uh, from the weekly perspective, we are ranging. And uh, we need to wait for that uh, structure before we get too excited lower time frame do offer opportunities so a three hour above the 150 EMA uh, sort of in amongst the slow moving averages big move down but then a big tail here buyers coming off a level which was 109486 look at my oscillators diversions there's my swing low my oscillators up here my current swing low look where my oscillators are um, you can draw a line there, draw a line there, you'll see the diversions. I now have a separation and what's looking like a crossover here in this area. There is a little level here as well that we need to pay attention to. We'll get to that now in the lower time frame. So there's our big exhaustion bar down. Boom. Straight on to the level. Actually just a little bit short to the level and then an engulfing bar up. The 150. So now, if you look at this on the hour, we're in amongst the moving averages. Don't really want to trade this until we are above the moving averages or we are below the moving averages and we're moving down. But I'm a little bit more cautious with this at the moment. There is a little bit more data coming out today as well, and there may be some noise from a Fed. So let's just get to the 15 minutes. Um, that's panic stations, right? Oh, what's that? 500.4. Um, right, so what we're looking for here. For a long, we want to be back above 109.862. And I want to build a base above there, which should get me back above the 150 before I start looking for longs. Um, shorts, I'm a little bit hesitant on a short right now. Uh, because I need to take the trend from the one hour 150 EMA. And if you look at this, this is still an uptrend. We've tested it, we're an uptrend. We're not above the moving averages here, so we are ranging. Now for me, this is a sit on hands. Until we back above 109.862 and retest that, then I'd be looking for opportunities to the upside. For now, this is a sit on hands situation. Uh, we're ranging, don't try and second guess where we're going. Uh, your 50 minute will give you your entry, but it needs to be a break and retest of 109862. Uh, shorts are just not on my radar for today. Uh, still a lot of water to flow under the bridge before we start switching directions to shorts. Anyway, hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend.